With increasingly efficient technologies being developed, there's a wide range of different aircraft designs being used today, from super-fast, gas-guzzling planes to energy-efficient, green-powered gliders. Join me as we take a look at 15 unique aircraft design concepts. Number 15. Airbus Maverick Airbus is one of the leading aircraft manufacturers in the world and commits vast resources to the development of new designs that will keep them in that position for years to come. One of the company's latest concept designs is called the Maverick, and it completely revisits the basic design principles of what an aircraft should look like. In particular, it uses what's known as a blended wing body, which means that instead of having wings that are attached to the fuselage, the two are built as one piece. According to Airbus, this makes the craft far more aerodynamic and efficient, and using a design like this will reduce fuel consumption by up to 20% while still offering the same speeds as comparably sized craft and giving a much more gentle ride, particularly in turbulent skies. So far, only a six-foot-long prototype has been built, but its 10-foot wide wingspan gives an indication of the proportions involved. Further development is needed, as are several technological advances, before a full-scale version can be made. But Airbus seems convinced that the core design of the Maverick will become part of all passenger jets in the future. Number 14. Aurora D8 the unusual-looking Aurora D8 is the result of a collaborative effort between Aurora Flight Sciences, MIT, and NASA, with the aim of creating a new type of wide-bodied jet airliner that would reduce fuel consumption and noise, while still being compatible with the already installed airport infrastructure. When built, it'll have 180 seats for passengers, have a range of up to 3,500 miles, and will have a cruising speed of 582 miles per hour which puts it in the same category as a Boeing 737 or an Airbus A320. Crucially, though, tests have shown that it will reduce fuel burn by 49% and noise by 20 decibels in comparison to those competitors. This benefit is all because of the widened body, which provides extra lift along the nose section. This means the wings don't have to be as large, meaning they don't produce as much drag, and the engines are placed at the rear instead of on the wings to be more efficient. Now owned by Boeing, the D-8 project is still progressing well, and the team behind it expects that the first full-scale prototype will be able to begin testing at some point between 2027 and 2035, a time at which they also hope alternative fuels will be available to further reduce the emissions involved in a flight. Number 13. Solera 500L Virtually every plane you've seen with a propeller will have the rotor blade mounted on the front, but there's no particular reason why this has to be the case. Auto Aviation, which is an American startup company, has returned to the drawing board for what they feel will be the business and light aircraft of the future, and have created the Solera 500L. Planned to offer cabin space for up to six passengers, to have a range of 5,200 miles and a cruising speed of 460 miles per hour, it uses a series of design techniques to make it more cost-effective to fly, despite being powered by a diesel piston engine. Described as being a mid-wing monoplane with a five-blade propeller in a pusher configuration, it reportedly costs just $328 per hour to operate, which is around a third of any similar-sized competitor on the market. It will have a 35-foot-long fuselage and a wingspan of 55 feet, and the position of the propeller will, in theory, make for a much quieter experience in the cabin. The company hopes that after a series of successful test flights, the first consumer version will be available by 2025 at an estimated price tag of around $5 million. Number 12. Synergy Aircraft Designed by John McGinnis, the owner of Synergy Aircraft in Kalispell, Montana, the Synergy is a revolutionary new aircraft design concept that's hoped to one day enter production as a kit aircraft that can be built at home. Measuring 21 feet long and with a wingspan of 32 feet, it can be flown by one person and has space in the main cabin for four passengers. The usual design of the wings, which is called a double box tail, has been created in this way in order to reduce drag and make the aircraft stall resistant. In theory, this should make it far easier to fly, although a full pilot's license will still be required to be able to get behind the controls. Despite being in development since 2010, a working full-scale version is yet to be built and only a one-quarter-sized fully electric remote-controlled model has taken to the sky. The full version will, however, be powered by a V4 engine, with the company remaining open to fully redesign the power systems if a suitable green energy alternative is available by the time it goes into production. Number 11. Edgley Optica The result of a project that began in 1974, the Edgley Optica is possibly one of the strangest aircraft you'll see flying the skies today. 
It's 26 feet long and has a wingspan of 39 feet. With its air-cooled flat-six engine, it's able to fly at speeds of up to 132 miles per hour. The thing that stands out the most is its unusual design, however, which has a fully glazed forward cabin that's attached by a small strut to the main body of the aircraft, and which offers a 270-degree field of view and almost vertically downward vision for those on board. The use of a fixed-pitch ducted fan in the design as well as the high-mounted tailplane and unswept, untapered wings means that the Optica is virtually silent in flight and is highly maneuverable, even at slow speeds. This makes it perfect for use as a low-speed observation craft and a much cheaper alternative to using a helicopter. Often used before the advent of drones for aerial photography, 22 of these were made, 11 of which are still believed to be in operation. Number 10. Alice Commuter The vast majority of aircraft emissions come from those that travel long distances, but there's still a large market for private short-distance flights that could benefit from being greener. As these are usually much smaller jets, they're arguably the best ones to prove low-emission flights are commercially viable for the technology are adapted for larger designs, and an Israeli company called Aviation has come up with a novel design. Known as the Alice, it's an all-electric jet that's powered by two motors. It's built from 95% composite materials to ensure it's lightweight and has room for nine passengers and two crew members. There are two versions of the design, an unpressurized model that's intended to be used as an air taxi, which stores its energy in a lithium-ion battery, similar to the ones used in electric cars, while there's also a longer-range pressurized version that utilizes an aluminum air battery, which itself can be replaced as future battery advances become even more effective. This commuter version is expected to have a range of up to 745 miles on a single charge at speeds of up to 300 miles per hour, which, according to recent flight statistics, would be more than enough for 55% of worldwide airline flights. An added bonus of this design is that it's become much cheaper to operate the aircraft, with estimates suggesting it'll be around $200 per hour, compared to the $600 to $1,000 per hour of similarly sized fuel-powered aircraft which means it could well make private air travel more accessible for everyone. Number 9. Scaled Composites Model 281 Proteus Built by Scaled Composites in the late 1990s, Model 281 Proteus is an experimental tandem-wing high-altitude plane that was designed to help investigate the possibility of using aircraft as high-altitude telecommunications relays. Two pilots can operate the plane, but it's also possible to control it remotely. It's 56 feet long and has a wingspan of 77 feet and powered by two Williams turbofans and has a cruising speed of 219 miles per hour and is designed to operate at an altitude of up to 61,000 feet for up to 19 hours at a time. This is made possible by the double set of wings which increase its stability and the fuselage is designed to host various experiments or communications arrays that can be mounted on it. Despite only one of these ever being built, the Model 281 remains in active use and is marketed by Northrop Grumman as a multi-use research platform with uses ranging from its original intent as a communication system, but also to perfect new UAV systems, radar technologies, and high-altitude rocket testing. Number 8. Vought V-173 The Vought V-173 has gone down in history as one of the most unusual aircraft to have ever been built. Because of its unique shape, it was more commonly known as the Flying Pancake. It was developed during the Second World War in an attempt to create a stable and nimble aircraft, and to do this, the designers opted for an all-wing design. The almost flat, disc-shaped body of the aircraft generates lift across its entire underside and also hides the engines and pistons that drive the propellers on the front edge. This arrangement required long propeller shafts, which meant that the gearbox had to be far more complicated than other aircraft and this ultimately became the Flying Pancake's downfall. Despite being easy to handle even at low speeds, the gearbox produced vibrations that were intolerable for pilots to endure for long periods of time. Add this to the way the V-173 shape acted as an air brake when trying to chase or line up to attack other aircraft, and it soon became clear that there was no future for the design. Only one was ever built, and it's now on display at the Frontiers of Flight Museum in Dallas, Texas. Number seven, NASA AD-1. Despite predominantly being an agency dedicated to exploring space, NASA has been involved in the development of a surprising number of aircraft, and perhaps the most groundbreaking and unusual was the AD-1. At first, this may look like a traditionally designed, sleek aircraft, but it has a feature that very few others have. It has an oblique, movable wing. 
This type of design has been theorized to be able to be used to increase handling and maneuverability at varying airspeeds, and also to increase speed and reduce fuel consumption, the AD-1 project being commissioned to collect real-world data. The wing was able to pivot from between 0 and 60 degrees during flight, and the plastic and fiberglass test aircraft measured about 38 feet long, with a normally oriented wingspan of 32 feet. The test vehicle, however, wasn't able to achieve the high speeds that this design of wing was supposed to excel in and instead showed that there were serious flaws with the concepts at lower speeds. 79 flights were conducted, with the fixed wing at various angles for each, but following this, the decision was made to stop any future evaluation of the idea. The single AD-1 that was built was retired. It can now be seen at the Hiller Aviation Museum in San Carlos, California. Number 6. Martini Beriev, VVA-14 Designed by Soviet researchers in the 1970s, the Martini Beriev VVA-14 was probably the most space-like aircraft to have ever been built. It was created to be a multi-use aircraft that could take off from water and fly long distances, whether that be at high altitude or just above the water's surface, and its main role would have been as a submarine hunter. With a three-member crew, the VVA-14 measured 85 feet long and had a wingspan of 98 feet. It was powered by two Soloviev turbofan engines, along with 12 Rybinsk turbofan lift engines. It had a cruising speed of around 400 miles per hour and an operational range of about 1,500 miles. The first full-size prototype made its first flight in 1972, but it was the design of the pontoons to allow it to float on water that proved to be the most difficult element. After beginning with inflatable ones, which were then replaced by rigid ones, an effective setup was very nearly reached before the lead designer died. After this, progress slowed down, and the project was cancelled by the mid-1980s, with only two having been built. One of them remains after having its wings removed and repurposed, and it's now at the Central Air Force Museum in Moscow. Number 5. Icon A5 Seaplane With improving technology and functionality, the market for lightweight sport aircraft is increasing as prices become more affordable, and one of the most exciting personal planes available is the Icon A5 Seaplane. First revealed in 2008, there's room on board for one pilot and one passenger, and with a length of 23 feet and a wingspan of 34 feet, it has a top speed of 109 miles per hour and a range of 490 miles. The company behind the aircraft says that the intent for it is to compete with other recreational vehicles like ATVs, motorcycles, and snowmobiles, as opposed to other planes, and the design principles have focused more on having fun and experiencing the world than the normal metrics like speed and comfort. To this end, the interior, for example, is far more similar to what you'd expect in a car than in a plane, and the company says around 45% of interested customers aren't pilots, although insisted that anyone wanting to buy one would have to undergo the appropriate training. So far, 100 A5s have been built and sold to customers, and after a few hurdles along the way, the company is now increasing its production capacity to fulfill far more orders. Number 4. Stipa Caproni Italian designers have been known to create some of the most unique aircraft to have ever taken to the skies, but the one that stands out the most is surely the Stipa Caproni. Built by Caproni and designer Luigi Stipa in 1932, it was powered by a propeller, but instead of being positioned on the front or back of the plane, it was instead housed inside the main body. This, in effect, turned the fuselage into a large ducted fan, with the pilot sitting on top of it. Measuring 19 feet long and with a wingspan of 46 feet, the one prototype that was built was surprisingly effective and had a top speed of 83 miles per hour and an extremely low landing speed of 42 miles per hour. Stipa, the designer, later admitted that his intent had never been for this entubed propeller design to be used in a singular fashion like on this aircraft, and the Stipa Caproni was merely a test bed to prove its ability before being incorporated into multi-engine designs. This never came to be, however, the plane's legacy has lasted for far longer than anyone could have expected. The design is credited with inspiring the idea of jet propulsion and significantly sped up their development. Number 3. Wright 1 The future of a mission-free aircraft will depend on the distances they're designed to fly. Developers are far closer to creating short-distance designs than long-haul ones. One exciting and unique concept is the Wright One, named after the Wright brothers who were the first to successfully perform a heavier-than-air powered flight. 
company called Wright Electric has teamed up with EasyJet, a short-distance budget airline, and created the Wright One, which they say will enter service by 2030 and be fully electrically powered. The single-aisle aircraft will be able to accommodate up to 186 passengers and will have a range of up to 800 miles, which is the approximate distance between New York and Chicago. Upon arrival at the airport, the battery packs will be removable and replaceable, meaning it will have just as quick a turnaround as fuel-powered craft, but will be 20% quieter and reduce fuel costs by 20% as well. The distance will be more than enough for a large proportion of commercial flights that take place every day, and the reduction of emissions from this part of the travel sector will make a huge impact. The first test flights are expected to take place in 2024, and if everything goes well, it may not be long until the right one is performing regular flights around the world. Number 2. The Progress Eagle Build as being the plane of tomorrow, the incredible-looking Progress Eagle may be a dream right now, but its designers believe it could become a reality by 2030. Instead of being powered by fossil fuels, it'll instead use six hydrogen engines to allow it to take off but it would also have a rear engine that would operate as a wind turbine, along with solar panels across its upper surface to provide energy for most onboard functionality. While most designs that attempt to be carbon neutral are smaller than a Boeing 747, for example, Progress Eagle has gone in the opposite direction. With three levels, it could carry as many as 800 passengers, which is 275 more than the largest passenger jets today and the designer says this opens up the potential of a whole new passenger class at the front. With further space on board for shops, restaurants, and entertainment, concerns about the slower speed of the Progress Eagle would be countered by the fact that it's far more comfortable and would in many ways feel like spending time at a luxury resort. Currently, it's thought only 40% of the technology needed to build it actually exists, though, and advances in solar cells, nanowires, and a number of other devices that are currently in the theoretical stage would be needed before the Progress Eagle even gets close to becoming a reality. Number 1. Hero Zero Emissions Airplane Created by a New York-based designer, could the Hero Zero be the most accurate prediction of what planes of the future will look like? While it's at a concept stage right now, it uses realistically attainable technologies and design principles that mean something like it could well be built within the next 5 or 10 years. It prioritizes efficiency and sustainability, which uses electric-powered propellers on the rear of the plane and enlarged sweeping wings with upturned winglets to provide enough lift. The designer admits that the use of propellers will mean the aircraft is about 20% slower than jet engine alternatives that's surely a sacrifice worth making to eliminate emissions. In a similar way to how it necessitated new ideas in terms of car design, the presence of heavy batteries on a plane is why the wings have been positioned like they have. With the batteries being built into the aircraft near the propellers, the majority of the weight will be in the back, so the engines are needed there to accommodate for this. As things stand, battery technology should allow an aircraft like this to operate across short and perhaps even medium haul distances which accounts for the vast majority of flights that take place. If the Hero Zero proves to be successful, though, and with the development of higher capacity and lighter batteries, this still has the potential to be one of the solutions that the aviation industry is looking for in order to clean up their act, but at the same time, still facilitate travel around the world. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more Top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.